What's up guys? So today I'm going to paint this whole knuckle assembly or what I've got put together here. Um, I actually had soaked this in the sodium carbonate and water and then used a battery charger and it really got rid of the rust scale. So that's how it comes out. Just pressure washed it and then I'll just prime it. Did the same thing with this, the spindle. And then these, I actually cleaned them up. Well, I soaked them in apple cider vinegar and a water mixture for about mm, three days, I believe. And then I pulled them out and soaked them in water and baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. And then pulled them out, washed them off. And then I just took a wire wheel to these. They actually came out very clean. I'm sure this would have done the same thing, but I literally just pulled it out and washed it off with the pressure washer. And then I used a torch, heated everything up. That way it kind of pulled the moisture out of it. So they're going to at least look better than what they did. So I'll go ahead and show you how I clean these up. Let's see if it'll focus. We'll show you how it looks beforehand. Kind of just scaly I guess they're not really too bad the biggest thing is I don't have to get in here and try to clean all this with a wire wheel or anything sodium carbonate so this is just washing soda and water I got a 55 gallon barrel here and all I do is take the part Set it down in the water, hook it on my board. The two rods into the water, positive. My plan is to leave the knuckle in there for about an hour, pull it out and pressure wash it. Um, do that until it's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to painting that other knuckle. Since I didn't want any paint inside that king pin hole, just smeared a little grease in there so that way nothing will stick to it. I'm gonna shoot this with primer real quick. So I got that in primer. While that's drying, I'm going to cut off these tabs on the axle tube. So this one and that one. Well, after some precision cutting and a big hammer, those brackets are finally off there. Now I just need to get them ground down and cleaned up. Yeah, buddy. They're smooth. Very happy with that. So, my primer was dry. Painted this knuckle black. You know, it doesn't look too bad either. All right, so I just pulled this second knuckle out. Um, about every hour, I pulled it out. Pressure washed it off. Stuck it back in. And it seems to get a lot of the rust off. There's some places where it was a little worse than others, and I just kind of picked at it. But way better than what it was, for sure. There's how that one turned out. It is dry. So it'll definitely look a lot better than just being all rusty. Uh, I started cleaning up the axle tube, since it's the easiest. All right, so now both knuckles are done. Start working on cleaning this axle up. Um, this knuckle I've not done anything with. It's only got a little bit of material on it that needs cleaned off. So the other side, I wire brushed and then used the torch and got all the moisture out of it, which I'll do again before I paint it, but looks much better. And then that, that's gonna be fun. 
I got this side cleaned up. Um, I'm going to show you what the torch does as far as pulling the moisture out of it. ready for some primer and paint got it all cleaned up gonna run a fan the filter and we'll see how it turns out pretty happy you can still see the casting numbers so the paint job <laughs> rattle can job turned out pretty well definitely looks pretty good for a 79 Oh yeah. Well, I'm cleaning up this snap ring groove. And you can see there, it's not very deep. It didn't cut all the way through the spline. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a hacksaw and going on each side of the groove and then using my die grinder and trimming the rest of the spline out. So I have nice clean edges. Hopefully that'll work a little bit better. At least make me feel better. Well, that's about as far as I can go on cleanup right now. 